Hello, BookTube. Make sure my camera's working. Yeah, it's great. It's awesome. I'm getting another camera. This is <laughs> this is the World Tour book tag. I was tagged by Mark over Richardson Reads. Thank you so much, Mark. I appreciate it. And this is a tag in three parts. Obviously, it has to do with travel. Part one, getting ready. Question number one on part one. Inspiration. A favorite bookish character from TV or film. I'm going to go with uh, Hawkeye, Natty Bumpo, uh, from The Last of the Mohicans, which, of course, is from James Fenimore Cooper's <clears throat> The Leather Stocking Tales. The movie alone, I mean, Daniel Day-Lewis did a great job on Hawkeye. So. Number two, Travel Agent, a favorite author outside your demographics. Uh, Mark, his his answer was, well, I, similar to mine. I, I, there's a lot of authors outside my demographics. I live out here in the middle of nowhere, so... So I could have picked several authors, but I'm going to go with Harlan Ellison. Number three, Destination. A favorite place to read about? Uh, South America. Um, generally pre-Columbian history, but anything to do with the, the jungle. and Pretty much like the whole continent. Four, Take Off. A book you read to, to travel to a place you've never been. <clears throat> um, I, I've got a bunch of books. Um, things about the Mayas. I don't know if you can see that. Easter Island. I have some stuff on Egypt and Egyptology. <clears throat> But I couldn't dig them out. They're around here somewhere. Trust me, I'm going to get this place organized a little better this summer. All right. Part two. Out and about. Sites. A reading spot you want to visit. Well, I mean, my traveling days are pretty much over. But if I had a shot at it, I'd like to go to Machu Picchu. Um, one of my uncles has been there. Uh, Chan Chan, um, Puma Punka, or the Nazca Lines, you know, yeah, it's, it's all places in South America. And, uh, Ancient Ruins, be amazing. Number six, Tastes. A food or drink you first encountered in a book. Well, obviously there have been quite a few, but... Moonshine, when I first came across it, I was like, hey, I wonder what, what that's like. Well, later in life, I found out. Number seven, locals, a favorite foreign-to-you character in a book. Once again, there could be a lot of answers for this, but I'm going to go with Portia um, from Children of Time because she's a spider. Number eight, sounds. A word or phrase you learned in a book. Piltdown Man. Um, you know, I've always been interested in uh, primitive living, primitive man, and uh, Piltdown Man, of course, turned out to be a hoax, but when I first heard that, I was like, oh, so he kind of fits in the niche, which back when I was a kid, there it wasn't, you know, you didn't have Australopithecus and all the different stages. I'm not going to get into that. but uh. Number nine. Souvenir. Souvenir one. A favorite bookstore you've been to. Uh, I used to frequent the bookstore on Main Street in Port Huron, Michigan. I spent uh, about two years going into that bookstore. What time I wasn't running to Detroit and places and bars. Number 10, Souvenir 2, a favorite library you've been to. I uh, haven't been to that many libraries, but I used to live in the library at Hazard Community College when I went there. 
I mean, other people were studying and stuff like that, and I was uh, hanging out in the library because uh, that's where most of the books were. I didn't see any point in studying and stuff like that until uh, midterm and finals came around, and I just wouldn't sleep for three days. Still did pretty well for an, you know, a non-traditional student. Part three, coming home. Reunion, a book you bought or read to learn more about your hometown. I don't really have a hometown. I live 20 miles from the nearest town, so. But if we're going to go with the hometown, it'd probably be Jackson and uh, Be the Evils of Breath of County by O.H. Napier. And apparently somebody else wrote a book called Bloody Breath It, but I have not read that yet. And, uh, you know, like I said, I, li I live in a county called Bloody Breath It. Um, years ago, you know, this used to be more like the Wild West. Uh, my father-in-law and one of the neighbors, uh, this coal company moved in, decided they weren't going to hire locals. So my father-in-law and one of the neighbors went up, you know, they would set up like a little trailer. Like you see stars have these trailers they go into. Well, the bosses had that up on the, the strip mine. So they went up there, called them out, and... Uh, Guys came outside, and my father-in-law and neighbor guy drew guns on them and said, "Listen, you're either going to hire some of these local boys, or we're going to put you out of business." <laughs> so uh, they hired some of the local boys. Cops were never called. Sheriff was never called because that's the way things used to be settled. Respect. Now. Number 12, Oops, a book of yours that is on its own adventure. You know, like you loaned it out or whatever. Day of the Buffalo. Can't remember if I was a junior or senior in high school, but the Day of the Buffalo, uh, American history class. I brought it to class, showed it to people. My teacher wanted to borrow it, and I never got it back. So my teacher basically stole my book. And I asked him about it several times. He's like, no, no, I brought that back. And it's laying over there, and I went and looked, and it wasn't there. So uh, there you go. How low is that? My history book was stolen by a history teacher. That's how it goes, I guess. So... Thank you, Mark, for the tag. Uh, I hope everybody enjoyed this. I enjoyed the journey. Bye.